Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today, you guys, strap yourselves in for this. We have a <laughs> an activist woman here, a modern woman activist person that lied about her background, right? And this is from the New York Post. It says, it's called Activist Raquel Avita Sarwathi has faked her Arab Latin racial identity as far back as 2004. So, it says, okay, well guys, before we jump in this article, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment, it helps to keep this channel going. So, we have this per person here, this is her. This is her when she was young. And this is her now. <laughs> Look at the facial piercings, guys, oh no. All these activist types all look the same, guys. If you ever see anyone that has these types of pierc piercings or whatever in the in the face and stuff, just run, guys. Just don't even waste your time, right? So it says, uh, the Muslim progressive activist who is allegedly pretending to be a person of color has been citing her fabricated Arab and Latin heritage for almost 20 years. Raquel Avita Sara, Sarawati, 39, who was outed by The Intercept for pretending to be of Latin, South Asian, and Arab descent, spoke to Boston.com in 2004 about her upcoming wedding, saying she wanted to do something to respect her Arab and Latin cult culture. Uh, so we want it to be something special, not about the hype and not about media, she told the outlet. Sarawati was born Rachel Elizabeth Seidel and is referred to as Raquel Evita Seidel. Her mom, Carol Perone, has denied her claims about her heritage, saying that the family is quote-unquote white as the driven snow. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. And let's think about, guys, these are these... These woke people who want to check all the all the um, the diversity and oppression check boxes. So she got the whole she got the Muslim, she got the LGBT one, she got the Hispanic one, and the South Asian one, and the Arab one. She's like, let's see how far that I can go, you know. And then she said, her mom says, I call her Ray, Ray, Rachel. I don't know why she's doing what she's doing. I'm as white as a driven snow, and so is she. <laughs> her mom says, I'm German and British, and her father was Calabrese Italian. She's chosen to live a lie, and I find that very, very sad, the mom said. So, so that's coming from her own mom, guys. And it says, Saras Saraswati is the chief equity, inclusion, and culture officer, whatever that means, of the Philadelphia-based American Friends Service Committee, a progressive Quaker group that fights violence, inequality, and oppression. So basically, they sit around and don't do anything, right? The activist who has been <laughs> referred to online as the new Rachel Dolezal, because we all remember her, Remember her, guys? She was the one up in um, in Washington State who said she was black and she wasn't. Uh, they're referring her to her online as a new Rachel Dolezal, referring to the white woman who, in 2015, was exposed to have lied about her race for years and risen through the ranks to the NAACP. Uh, she says, I assure people that as soon as I am cap capable, I will provide answers the recent discussion and attack on me. So basically, uh, calling her who, who she really is is an attack. Uh-huh, right? A human resources officer, Oscar Piero Castro, who helped hire her for her diversity leadership role at AF AFSC, said he felt conned and deceived. So that's her boss. Castro believes she was a, a queer Muslim multi-ethnic woman. Because that's what she says she was. The organization, however, is standing by her. Of course they are, right? And uh, AF AFSC spokesperson Lane Mullet told The Intercept the organization has received documentation 
alleging that her chief equity, inclusion, and culture officer, Raquel Saras Saraswati, has been re misrepresenting her identity. So this is her when she was young. Look, guys. Saras Saraswati stands by her identity. So Raquel also assures us that she remains loyal to the AFSC's mission, which we firmly believe she and her mother could not be reached by the paper. Guys, so what do you think of this? We have a white woman. Look at this. White. White. <laughs> and look at the difference now. So I'm going to wear it. And she's even in a mosque. <laughs> Guys, we are officially in clown world, man. We are in clown world, you know? Let me know what you guys think. I mean, look, guys, I am black, so I, I see this for what it is. There's a large group of white people, especially white women, who don't want to be part of the quote-unquote oppressive white majority, right? So in order to get brownie points with the woke crowd, they take on all these check bob boxes. So she it looks like she went out, got a tan, got some darker may makeup around her eyes, wore a hijab, and got herself some piercings. And you know, next thing thing you know, she's checking off the old check boxes. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. I'm out of here.